This video is about how to calculate one way ANOVA. We have data available of a fast bowler with different speed variations. So in his first over, we have uh, calculated the speed 132, 130, different speed variations up to 140 for his last fast ball. And then for the second over, we have speed variations where he has increased the speed and this is his maximum bowling speed 141 and then it decreases and in a third over the speed decreases too much 131 129 and this is his least bowling speed 127 so we need to calculate the ANOVA for this data for that we need to go to uh, this data tab right and here we have data analysis in case you do not have data analysis available go to file in here more options and here you need to go to the ads in tab and select this analysis option click on go button and make sure these two uh, options have been selected press the OK, ok button as I have already available so I'm crossing it select the data analysis and here we need to select this first option and in this very first input range we need to select this whole data right we have selected this whole data and we need to check this and this is actually our l or p value based on this we can uh, go with a null or alternative hypothesis i will tell you later if we, are, we select this option then the uh, ANOVA table will appear in this window but if we select the second option we have it available in the second tab so i'm going with the second option and here we need to specify uh, the name results as soon as i select the ok button the anova table will be appeared in our second spreadsheet and this is the summary here you can see the count as we know the total balls in the over are six so these are six for each and these are the sum of each 132 plus 130 plus 133 these are the sum of um, each over and averages for each over we know that the second over uh, was the fastest of him and these are the variances as we have discussed earlier that the third over has the least variation but the first two over have the most of the variations and then we have this ANOVA table where we have all the values for analysis especially we have this p-value and based on this p-value we can uh, go with the hypothesis null or alternate since the value is uh, less than 0 0.005 here so we can say that we can go to the alternate hypothesis null hypothesis is proven wrong here which says that there is no significant difference in the bowling speed of the bowler but there is a huge amount of differences available and that's why the p-value is less than 0.005 so that's all for this video see you in the next video